Assalam o Alaikum students. Today we are going to continue with the same topic, Buck and Head Drill. In the previous lecture, I told you that how the ship split into two parts. It got struck with the rock, and the damage happened. And all the people on the on board came out from their cabins and rushed or made their way towards the safe uh, part of the ship. which was still floating and that was deck so very few knew what had happened but they all knew that it was something terrible when the ship split into two the front half soon sank into the waters and disappeared but fortunately all the people on the ship managed to reach the remaining half of the split ship which was still floating on the water they had a narrow escape from a watery grave whatever awaited them in the immediate future for the time being they were safe when the ship struck against the rock most of the lifeboats were damaged or destroyed only three of these boats were in a, in a useful condition so it is told here that as the people made their way towards the safety that is the safe part which was still floating on the uh, sea the other part actually uh, sank down and that part was the front part as i told you in earlier lecture that the deck is the front part of the ship but according to the definition deck is actually the open area of the ship it could be on the both sides back side or in the front so in this explanation it is clear that the deck must be in the other part of the ship as the front actually drown because it was filled with water quickly and immediately and it was not the safe part of the ship which was still floating so as they made their way over there the they were all very confused because they haven't realized that what was the reason behind it they knew that something terrible happened but what was the real cause they do know and uh reaching over there doesn't mean that they are all totally completely safe it was just for a temporary time for the for that time they were safe but what is uh, store for them for the immediate future that has to be seen and they came down to that explanation then the only three lifeboats were left there were more than three on the ship but what happened when the ship got struck with the rock the it destroyed the lifeboats as well and only three lifeboats were in a useful condition 630 people to be saved as against that there were only three lifeboats each of which could carry only 60 passengers only 180 would find room in these three boats the wreck ship could not last much longer any passenger who could not find a place in one of the lifeboats faced certain death death by drowning and worse for the seas around were alive with sharks whose cruel frightful jaws awaited the unfortunate ones who fell into the waves the cruel enemy was to be seen wherever the eye was turned there was very little chance for any one who found himself in these dangerous waters so the total strength of the people on the ship was 630 and only 180 people could be saved because this is the total number lifeboats can carry the three lifeboats which were in useful condition now it is understood the ones who are not going to uh, have the space in lifeboats they will be left behind and they will be uh, uh, facing the certain death either by drowning or there is a worse condition than drowning and that is if they manage to stay alive or manage to float on the waves of the sea they would be eaten by the sharks because sharks were circling the ship they were cruel and their frightful jaws were ready to eat their prey now this was the situation and it was uh, uh, understood that there is little chance for anyone if it uh, if that person falls into the water either that person will drown or it will be the food of the shark 630 people on the wreck ship and room in the lifeboats for only 180 one would have one would have expected a panic for life is sweet men and women struggling for their lives all to get into one of the lifeboats would surely have caused a panic in the resulting confusion men women and children might have been crushed under foot they might have pushed one another into the sea in their wild efforts to make their way to the boats 
the boats might have been overloaded and sunk under the weight now writer explains here that in such a situation when the when the people were 630 and only 180 could be saved and it is understood by everyone and in such a situation it is very much possible that panic could have started over there and in such a panic because life is sweet for everyone the men and women would have tried to save themselves and in this uh, confusion they could have resulted into three things it could have resulted into three things one there was a possibility of a stampede they could have crushed the uh, the weaker ones under their feet the second possibility was that the life boats could be overloaded and the life boats could sink the third possibility uh, and the obvious one could be that in their wild struggle to reach the life boat they could have pushed the people out into the sea and of course then the the fate of those people would be certain death because either they will drown or either they will be eaten by the sharks such things had happened before whoever was the strongest had won his way to the boats the weakest women and children the old the sick had often been left to their fate if such a thing had happened on the birkenhead not one out of the 630 people would have been saved but there was no panic on the birkenhead some confusion there was bound to be out with the boats and let us away someone may have cried whoever it was who had cried thus it was not one of the young soldiers so it is explained that such things have happened before in history but nothing like that happened on birkenhead it was totally opposite and what was the reason behind it i will explain it later when it will come in the chapter as the writer explains that it it always happens that the weakest women and children and the old and sick are the ones who suffer in such conditions because they are left to their fate as they can't struggle and survive or they can't struggle and fight for their own survival but nothing like that happened on birkenhead there was no panic at all and if there was a possibility of such a cry like out with the boats and let us away that is a cry for you know help that let be let us be on the boats and let us be away from the ship and all that it could be possibly from some of the one of the passengers but not from the young soldiers or troops on board this was very interesting and this was what actually happened um, on birkenhead on that particular day now let me explain it clearly hua ye tha ki jo log uth gaye the is shock mein aadhi raat aadhi raat se bhi zyada ka jab time tha aur ship jab takrai thi rock se to wo toot gayi thi do hisson mein ऐसे में लोग जो है निकल के भागे और सब जो सेफ पार्ट था उस वक्त जो फ्लोट कर रहा था वो डेक था वहाँ पे वो पहुँच गए और जो फ्रंट पार्ट था यानी आगे का हिस्सा था शिप का वो डूब गया वहाँ पे पहुँच तो गए लेकिन उस वक्त कोई इस चीज़ की गारंटी नहीं थी कि वो अब सेफ्टी पे यानी कि वो सरवाइव करेंगे क्योंकि बहुत जल्द वो जो पार्ट फ्लोट कर रहा था वो भी डूबने वाला था उनको कुछ नहीं मालूम था उस वक्त सब कंफ्यूज थे कि इसकी वजह क्या है ये तो उनको समझ में आ गया था कि बहुत ही बुर, कुछ बुरा हुआ है जिसकी वजह से शिप दो हिस्सों में टूट गई है लेकिन वजह क्या थी ये उनको नहीं मालूम थी क्योंकि वो डिस्कवर भी नहीं हुई थी उस वक्त फिर उसके बाद ये कहते हैं कि जब देखा गया तो लाइफ बोट्स जो थी वो सिर्फ तीन थी बाकी तो सब डैमेज हो गई थी इस शिप के टूटने से और वो जो बोट्स थी वो 180 पैसेंजर्स को कैरी कर सकती थी बल्कि वहाँ पे 600 और सम पीपल थे तो यानी कि एक बड़ा नंबर जो था लोगों का उनके लिए एक सर्टेन डेथ लिख दी गई थी क्योंकि उस वक्त सेफ बहुत कम किए जा सकते थे ऐसी सिचुएशन में राइटर कहते हैं कि तीन चीज़ें हो सकती हैं एक ये कि लोग भगदड़ मचाएँ कन्फ्यूज़ हो जाएँ पैनिक हो परेशान हो जाएँ क्योंकि कम लोग सर्वाइव कर सकते हैं और ज़्यादा मरेंगे ऐसी कंडीशन में ये होता कि वो स्टैम्पीट होती अच्छा इससे पहले वो ये भी कहते हैं कि अगर अगर फ़र्ज़ करें कि कोई डूब के नहीं मरता और वहाँ पे आ, फ्लोट कर रहा होता या कोई चीज़ का सहारा लेकर फ्लोट कर रहा होता समंदर के पानी और लहरों में तो 
उसकी भी कोई ज़िंदगी बाकी नहीं रहती क्योंकि वहाँ पे शार्क्स थे और जो इंतज़ार कर रहे थे अपने फूड का ये प्रे का तो अंडरस्टूड है कि जो पानी में गिर गया उसकी सर्टिन मौत थी उसके बाद फिर राइटर कहते हैं कि ऐसी सिचुएशन में तीन चीज़ें होती हैं उसमें से पहली चीज़ ये थी कि लोग एक दूसरे के ऊपर चढ़ जा चढ़ दौड़ते हैं कन्फ्यूजन में घबराहट में और इसमें भी बहुत सारी अमवात होती हैं दूसरी दूसरी कंडीशन ये थी कि इस लाइफ बोट क्योंकि तीन थी तो हो सकता था कि इसके ऊपर ज़्यादा लोग बैठ जाते और वो डूब जाती तीसरा तीसरी कंडीशन ये थी कि ऐसे मौक़ों पे जब लोग अपनी ज़िंदगी के बारे में सोच रहे होते हैं तो वो धक्कम फैली करते हैं और इसमें बहुत सारे लोग शायद समंदर में गिर पड़ते और ज़ारे बात है फिर वो डूबते या शाक का शिकार हो जाते ऐसी सारी सूरत हाल पहले हिस्ट्री में हो चुकी हैं तो ये कंडीशंस हो सकती थी लेकिन हुआ क्या ऐसा कुछ भी नहीं हुआ बर्क एंड हेड पे ऐसा कुछ भी नहीं हुआ ऐसी सिचुएशंस में जब कमज़ोर लोग सफ़र करते हैं मारे जाते हैं और ताकतवर आगे बढ़ जाता है ये हो सकता था लेकिन बर्क एंड हेड पे इससे उलट हुआ वहाँ पे कोई भगदड़ और कोई घबराहट नहीं थी कोई पैनिक की सिचुएशन नहीं थी और अगर किसी की आवाज़ भी उठी या एक खौफ के मारे अगर किसी ने ये कहा भी कि बोट्स को उतारो और हमें यहाँ से जो है बचाओ इस तरह की अगर कोई किसी ने बात की तो ये कंफर्म था कि उस वक्त मौजूद जितने भी वहाँ पे सोल्जर्स मौजूद थे उन्होंने वो आवाज़ नहीं उठाई होगी क्योंकि उनको इंस्ट्रक्शंस मिल गई थी और जो होना जो हुआ था उस दिन उस इस चैप्टर में आगे बताया गया सो दिस इज़ फॉर टुडे I will explain that what actually happened with the soldiers, what was said to them, and how they behaved. This is this will come in the next lecture. This is for today. Thank you.